Hey, it's Sol with another video brought to you by Raymond's Workspaces. Raymond's Workspaces, totally not an excuse for gameplay footage. Today, we're going to talk story and character development in the Warcraft franchise, what Blizzard is trying to do, and how for a particular set of fans, it just doesn't work. And by fans, I'm talking about you. This video contains spoilers, or at least that's what I'm going to say on the thumbnail and the title. And by the end, you might see why. So I had a brief exchange with someone on Twitter over the aftermath of the Before the Storm book. And in it, we discussed how Sylvanas doesn't fit our criteria of what we call evil. That a truly evil act is both malicious and without purpose. I mention that because Blizzard is trying to write this next chapter of Warcraft with more nuance, maybe adultification. With two separate leveling and war campaigns between the factions, we get a glimpse at a few narrow perspectives. And after going through both campaigns, it'll be easy to notice that the conflict is about a clash of agendas and not necessarily good versus evil. It makes the associations with our factions feel more personal, and by representing each other, many fans want to be seen in the best light possible. Now for those of you who are watching, I can sort of sense the gears turning in your collective heads, gathering up all the information that we learned from the books, and the data mine info, and the unreleased cutscenes on YouTube, and the comments, and all the existing speculation, including my own coverage. Some of you may be nodding or shaking your heads, preparing a thoughtful or a smart-ass comment, or both. Day after day, build after build, we arm ourselves with more information. A minor detail, a sentence change, the latest interpretation from your favorite lore buff. People like you and I, who closely monitor the development and step-by-step -step incrementation of Warcraft's story, see it all first. It's both enlightening and frustrating to know the truth, and then to have that truth change. It's compounded by this dual perspective approach from Blizzard. We want to feel like our faction is winning, or in the right, or both. And so we sort of review Warcraft with every turn of the page, so to speak. Every preview, line of broadcast text, and broken cutscene comes under the magnifier. But there's another side of the fandom, the side that knows nothing. Not even a single spoiler. I mean, yes, they're up to date with the latest book, they soak up every comic, and probably has something to say about it. They haven't been spoiled or tainted by this whole process. They just experience the final product. These fans live in a totally different world than we do. Coverage and analysis of WoW is on a near 24-hour news cycle, but for them, well, they've waited months since the latest patch to see the comics that released starting all the way back in May, and then shortly after that, the Before the Storm book in the middle of June. And that's all the lore that they know. Sometimes it's hard to realize because we deep dive into so much of this lore that officially there's actually very little to soak in. Some of you might be thinking of the old saying that ignorance is bliss. Does that make us wrong to pour over all this information that is in many ways unreliable? Of course not. We judge, analyze, and review this stuff anyway, because we want to know. We want to speculate and ask what if, because it's fun. I am concerned about how widespread this is though, that we take advantage of that ease of information and we fool ourselves into believing that this collection of data is in fact the story, and we give a warped opinion to say the least. At worst, we're reading the story in fragments, from end to beginning to end to middle and so on. With each update, the review changes ever so slightly, and maybe we who consider ourselves fans might feel a little bit exhausted. There is no fix for this though, unless Blizzard puts an end to alphas and betas that aren't restricted by a non-disclosure agreement. I hear enough common presumption that betas have been useful as marketing tools, you know, the hype machine, but I've got to wonder. If that is the case, are we seeing a diminishing return? Blizzard already has to withhold remarks or even do damage control based on gameplay-related data mined information. With so much story also being spoiled, should this be of an even greater concern? That's all I have, and that's what I would like to see being discussed. Is this a big deal? Part of me does in fact feel like it does spoil the experience, but at the same time as someone who covers this, it's not something I want to take away either because it introduces all sorts of interesting discussion and speculation. I'd love to hear your thoughts in a comment below, and otherwise, 
please like and subscribe to help support the channel so I can keep giving you this and all things Warcraft. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe, stay happy, and stay breezy. Thank you.